We were recently looking at a question where we were asked what the latitude was of an observer who observed the sun at the summer solstice with an altitude of 55.25 degrees. So that's an altitude of 55.25 degrees. And that's all the information we've got to go on, and yet somehow we've got to calculate what our latitude is. No problem. Now, I'd advise against just reaching for formulas and trying to plug numbers in, because you don't know what the numbers are. What I would recommend you do is draw a diagram. And start by drawing a picture of the Earth, like this. And then we can start labelling things on that diagram. So let's have rays of light from the sun, parallel rays of light from the sun, emerging from the right, let's have another one here, there. So two parallel rays of light from the sun, let's label them, and I'm going to use colours here to make it easy to see what's going on. So the point where the top ray touches the, the circle, that's where we are stood as observers. So observers, this line points from the centre of the Earth up to the point directly over our head. That's the azimuth. So I'm going to label that AZ. And we also have a line perpendicular to that. I'll do my best to draw it. Well, that's not bad. That is perpendicular to that. And that is our horizon. So the angle that we've been given, 55.25, is this angle here. That's what we know. But there is some other stuff that we know that isn't stated. It's just known, it's just understood. So for example, we know that the Earth's axis is tilted by 23 and a half degrees. So there's our celestial North Pole should I say the North Celestial Pole. And we've got the Celestial Equator as well, which that should be perpendicular. Yeah, not bad. So that is the Celestial Equator. I'll label that EQ. And we know that the North Celestial Pole is 90 degrees to another line which is perpendicular to not 90 degrees 23.5 degrees to another line here which is 90 degrees to the rays that the sun is making the rays from the sun follow the ecliptic or they're along the ecliptic so that red line is perpendicular to the ecliptic oops zoomed out too far So let's label off some 90 degree bits. That's 90 degrees, that's 90 degrees. That's 90 degrees to that. Different color to make it clearer. And we have got this angle here. That angle is the axial tilt of the Earth. 23.5 degrees is what we are taking that as. And the angle that we want, the missing one, is our latitude, which is that angle there. That is our latitude. So you can see, in order to try and fill in the missing pieces, we need to know what maybe this angle here is. And then 90 subtract that angle will be our latitude. So the angle between the North Celestial Pole and our azimuth. Well, you know, this is all we've got to go on, so let's not reach for equations. Let's redraw some of these lines in an easier way to see what's going on. We really like triangles because we know the sum of angles in a triangle is 90 degrees. So let's take the horizon, let's stick it down there. Let's take the North Celestial Pole. Didn't mean to do that undo that moving 
Come on, North Celestial. Come on, North Celestial Pole. There it is. Copy it, paste it down here. Let's take one of those rays and then paste it here. Okay, so we've got a triangle there, haven't we? Triangles are good because we know the angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So we can use this triangle and we can start filling in what we know. Well, not quite. We don't have enough information. But we could add some more bits to this to fill in what we know. So, for example, we can say, look, there's a line that's perpendicular to the orange line here. And we know that that is 23.5 degrees. And so this angle, let's change colour to blue, this angle here is going to be 90 subtract 23.5 degrees. Has to be. Because these are 90 degrees to each other. Then we look over here. Do we know what this angle here is? Yes, it is a complementary angle. The angle between the horizon and the ray, that's 55.25 degrees. And so using those, we can calculate this angle here. So I'm just going to take my calculator out. Type in 180 degrees, subtract 55.25. We're also going to subtract 90 minus 23.5, so be careful with that. Gives you 58.25. So that's that angle there. Now, it's not the angle we want. The angle we want is the one between the azimuth and the North Celestial Pole. And what we've got there is an angle between the horizon and the North Celestial Pole. But that's okay. Let's just take our angle. Let's take this azimuth. Let's copy that. Let's paste it over the top. Just because it makes it easier to see, you probably wouldn't draw this in an exam, you wouldn't need to. They are 90 degrees to each other, and this angle here is 180 degrees. So 180 subtract 90 subtract 58.25 is this angle. So that's the same as 90 subtract 58.25. And that gives us here... an angle of 31.75 degrees. And I can fill that in on this diagram here. 31.75 degrees. And so our latitude, L, is going to be 90 degrees. That's the angle between the two blue lines here and here. 90 degrees subtract that 31.75 degrees, giving us 58.25 degrees. And I'll just double check that that is what the answer is supposed to be. Because I'd rather it, uh, rather give you things that are correct. 58.25 degrees. Yeah, that is correct. Well, it must be correct, because that's how triangles work. So don't Grab for formula sheets. Just have a look at the circle. Do a quick sketch and see if you can pick out what the angles are doing. Um, the formulas on the guidance that Edexcel gives, I don't think are particularly useful here. Um, I tried to use those formulas to get to the same answer and I actually found I was struggling to do so. Whereas just drawing the circle drawing the straight lines, labeling the angles you've got, and working through the, the triangle, just picking some lines and drawing a triangle out of them, which is all I did, um, that actually actually was all I needed to do to get the answer. Let, let's just change color of this. This triangle I'm coloring in here is a similar triangle to this one here. You know, they're, they're similar triangles. And once you spot that, and you know what 
longitude, uh, sorry, latitude, that's what the L is, you know what latitude is, that angle there, and you know what the axial tilt is of the Earth relative to a line, an axis which is perpendicular to the ecliptic, and you know what the ecliptic is, and so on and so on and so on. Once you fill in all the stuff you know, then the question just kind of unravels itself, and all you're doing is working on triangles. Might be a quicker way, I'm sure there is. But hopefully this gives you enough to understand how to get to the answer.